you are doing great welcome back to my channel in today's video i didn't have really a real topic to talk about so i just decided i'm gonna talk about things you probably don't know about me that's the point you probably don't know actually because i share a lot of things about me with you guys in my instagram so if you don't follow me on my instagram yet please go there and follow me i i love to show you everything about my routine I show you how I, I don't know, how, how do I practice my French, for example, and also how I practice my English. For those who don't know me yet, my name is Leticia, I'm Brazilian, I live in Toronto. Actually, I'm not living in Toronto right now because of the pandemic, but I study in Toronto and I have this channel to share with you my, my experience learning English, uh, learning languages in general actually and to talk about my student routine as, as people who follow me already know I do I study in three universities, two in Brazil and one in Toronto and I like to share my, my experience here uh, since it's kind of incredible <laughs> I don't know, for me it's like uh, okay, but for people who follow me, that's incredible. So here I am. And uh, what else? So okay, let's go. I'm gonna talk about uh, like things you probably don't know about me. Interesting things, actually. And let's see if you're Brazilian. Let's see if you are gonna understand everything I say. Well, I think so. I hope so. But let's just practice and comment down below if you understand everything. And if I make any mistakes, please comment here down below because it will help me to improve more and more my English. And one thing I just want to tell you, like or advertise you just because English is neither my first nor my second language. So please keep a calm in comments, okay? So let's go. I just have like, I just took a look on this website where it shows some like, important things or interesting facts about me actually these are like some questions you know so i'm just gonna read some of them and trying to and i'm gonna try to answer you about me like with my answers okay so the first thing is my favorite cuisine is um the japanese one i really do love sushi so that's my favorite one the second is the hobby I could never give up is mm, learning languages. Like, of course, that's my favorite hobby. If I'm not uh, spending my free time learning more French or English, uh, this, those two languages I already speak very well, actually. I do spend a lot of time speaking in Spanish and trying to learn Italian too, but that's something I'm gonna tell you later, okay? So that's something I would never give up, that's just to learn languages. Uh, the third question, my favorite season is because I, 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 do love, uh, I do love fall because when I was in Canada, I, used, I already saw like the winter, the spring and also the summer, but I never been in Canada during the fall and that's like, Oh my gosh, that's so... it sucks. <laughs> because that's actually my, my, my favorite season and I used to see a lot of photos of my sister. My sister lives in Canada. I used to live a lot of... I used to see a lot of pictures of her during the fall and I used to love it. So I think it's so vintage, I don't know. I really like it. That's my favorite one. The thing I find most attractive in a person is... In gen I could say personality, but I think that's not really specific, right? Because if I say like, oh, personality, and if you don't know which personality I like, so it's kind of, mm, it doesn't really say something. So I really love when, when the person is really interested in learning something else every day. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm just friend with, people who really understand, who really learn things and who really are interested in, I don't know, grow up and develop yourself. So yeah, that's it, I think. I like when people are intelligent. <laughs> yeah. 
And I do like when people will speak more than one language, so then I can learn with them, you see. <laughs> I can play the... I can play the saxophone. That's something I just told everyone about. I haven't talked about it in my Instagram, for example. I just had to... I just wanted to make like the surprise, you see. So I kinda know how to play saxophone, but I'm just a beginner, you see, so I'm just practicing every day a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna improve um, fast, because I, I'm just doing this every day, and my mom's kinda crazy because of that. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I can speak uh, four languages, and um, French was the hardest one. Yes, because I, I had to spend much time learning French, not because of the French, because I, I, didn't, I didn't even know how to learn a language when I started to learn languages. See, I had to pass this process about learning uh, how to learn and learning something about me, like what, what worked better with me, what's, what's better for me, like what, what can I do to understand more, to practice better and everything so I think I had to pass this whole process about getting to know myself more and that I think that's why it was the hardest one but then when I got this whole experience done I think I it's just easier for me to understand and to learn th new things you see so when I came back to Brazil after spending like almost 10 months in Canada I started to learn Spanish too and I think it was really easy. I'm not I don't speak Spanish as I speak French for example, but I I'm going on. You see like I can get some things and I think I'm doing like better at the beginning than I was doing when I was learning French. So that's it. I don't know if you really get it. It's just confusing but it was it it's what I think and what I feel. Uh, so I can cook the most amazing nothing. I really don't cook. I burn everything. That's that's a problem actually. <laughs> My first experience with English, I used to study the British English, so with the British accent. And some words I do speak with a British accent, but as I have been having contact with the American English since I was really little I think I have more facility and I can do this accent with more facility that's why <laughs> travel facts okay that's interesting I have visited I think 12 countries in my life it includes uh, Canada of course uh, USA uh, Mexico, um, Argentina, Uruguay, what else? Spain, France, Italy, uh, Maura, um, Cayman Islands, and um, Panama. I think that's all. I'm not sure. But I think that's all. <laughs> My favorite country is so far Canada. I love Canada. Canada is everything for me. I first traveled solo when I was 16. When I was in Canada, my first solo travel, travel solo, I don't know, was to New York. I went there with some friends actually, but I didn't have my family with me, so that's why I say it was solo. Oh, uh, and that's it. Let me see if there is some other question, interesting question. I Okay, family fact. I have three siblings. I'm not the older one, but I'm not the middle. I think I'm the, like, between the middle and the older. That's confusing. Okay, let's go to the next one. I have four dogs. Education and work facts. I think that's interesting. My favorite subject at school was math. I used to love math. But when I was a child, I wanted to be a doctor when I grew up as my father. When I was really, really, really little, I used to think it because I used to see my father doing doctor stuff and I used to think that was amazing, but I don't think so anymore. <laughs> 
uh, my first proper job after graduating, I'm not graduated, so I can't really tell. Okay, I volunteer. I used to volunteer in a cancer hospital in my city. I don't do it anymore because, you know, hospitals, pandemic, it doesn't match really well. But once everything's done, I think I'm gonna go back there and try to continue my, this program because I used to really like it. So I think that's all. I answered a lot of questions here. I hope you liked and I hope you could understand everything and also practice a little bit with me. That's really amazing for me to talk with you in English. I really like to talk with you in French too. So if you were interested in uh, see French videos here, please comment here down below. And uh, also like this video, it's gonna help me a lot and subscribe my channel. I hope you really like it. See you in the next video and bye!